Well, all right. <laughs> we were doing a really good job there, and um, Facebook said, there's too much going on, sister. You need to take a moment. I'm letting my friend Susan know that I'm back on. Do you see how my head is right now? Like this, and my shoulders are in a little bit. This is what we try to counteract. <clears throat> and this is what I always am working on counteracting, this device asana, this office asana. Who's joining me? Monica, hello, Monica. All right, so fingers crossed that this continues. Hello, friends. Oh, good, you guys are amazing. You're like, no, we'll do this. We want midday movement, let's do this. And yes, let's be passionate about moving the neck. So we're gonna do, as long as that green light stays green and we're here together. I had my eyes closed while I was breathing and I opened my eyeballs and I was like, they're all gone. Well, the light was off and the screen was dark. It was very confusing. <sighs> okay, here we are, back again. I'm Muhammad, thank you for joining. Thank you everyone for coming back for Midday Movement. We'll go for about the, uh, 25, 30 minutes from now. I got nothing else going on, right? I'm here with you, we're here together. <laughs> okay, uh, life, B-A-N-A-N-A-S. Bananas. Think Susan's on? Boom, all right, so here's the lay of the land. We're gonna breathe a little bit more. We're gonna move the neck the shoulders, the spine, release tension from the inward things that happens in our bodies when we're on the phone, right? And we're on the devices and we're cooking and things like that. And then we'll have a short guided meditation, mantra meditation towards the end, okay? That's the plan. That light better stay green because you're here with me and we're gonna do this thing, all right? All right. Simple and easy. It's all I really want. <laughs> Simple and easy. So I'm going to keep my eyeballs open this time. You can close your eyes if you'd like or soften the gaze. I'll keep an eye on stuff. And here, once you found your seat, chair, couch, floor, whatever, here and now, we'll breathe. And yes, we breathe all the time, but we might breathe a little more shallowly. So let yourself hear, just let that breath be nice and full, as full as it can be. Take a couple more rounds of your breath, noticing the movement that comes with your breath. Is there a little sound with your breath? And know that this breath awareness, this could be everything. And if that suits you, fantastic. Continue with that awareness of your breath. If you'd like to layer on balanced breathing, the next time you breathe in, just notice the count of your inhale. It might be two or three or four. Whatever that is, let that be your inhale. Then the exhale, as you guide the exhale out, can that count match the inhale? And finding your count in. your count out. Your count in. And out. As you continue to breathe here, the next inhale, we'll roll the shoulders up around the ears. Maybe keep the count if you'd like. And exhale the shoulders back and down. 
And inhale the shoulders up. And exhale them down. Taking a few more shoulder rolls, unwinding. Taking one more round here, just like this. And inviting them down. <laughs> And here, with an inhale, shrug the shoulders up around the ears. And just let them drop with a ah. Let's try that again. Inhale, shoulders up around the ears. And a ah. Gathering tension up around the ears. Let that go. Ah. Two more rounds in. Super heavy. Ah. One more shrug and drop in. And let that go. Ah, heavy shoulders, heavy elbows, nice tall spine. And rearrange the legs at any time if you need to, right? Be in a comfortable place. Here with these heavy shoulders, we'll find some love for the neck in the six directions it can move, all right? So to do that, to begin, we're going to inhale and look up towards the ceiling, just lifting the gaze to your degree. Noticing what that feels like, opening the front of the throat. And then as you find an exhale, drift the chin down towards the chest. As you move here, maybe you use that count of breath as you lift the gaze up. Or just breathe, it's all good. Drift the chin down. Take one more round of this flexion and extension. I think about it like a slow motion, yes. And then we'll inhale, come back to neutral. Nose in line with sternum, chin parallel-ish to the earth. All right, and here, <clears throat> pardon, we'll take a breath in. And drift your gaze towards your right shoulder. Again, to just your depth. It may not come all the way over, just notice the sensation on the left side of your neck. Take a breath in here. You drift the chin to center. No need to rush any of this, sitting tall as you breathe in. And drift your gaze over to the left shoulder. And here with the breath and movement together, we'll inhale center. Exhale right. And inhale center. Exhale left. One more time each side as we come in to center. And chin drifts to the right. Coming to center. One more time here to the left. Fantastic. We'll come back in to center. <clears throat> the last pair or the lateral for our cervical spine. Again, to your depth. If you have anything going on in your neck that you're aware of, just take this to your degree. Or sit and breathe and visualize the movement. All right? All right. We'll sit tall as to breathe in. And just drift your right ear over towards your right shoulder. A little tilt of the head. I think about a puppy when I do this for some reason. They like, turn your head and look at you like, what? Boy, bring the uh, head back level. And then we'll drift the left ear to the left shoulder. Oh, that side. You got a little pop. Just nice and easy. We'll come back up to neutral neck and drift right ear to right shoulder. Maybe find the breath as we inhale center. And find left ear, left shoulder. One more time each side as we bring the um, neck to neutral. And right ear, right shoulder. Come back up to neutral. <clears throat> and drift the other way. Fantastic. And then we'll here, we'll come back to neutral. We'll put some of those things together. We'll drift the chin down towards the chest. Roll the right ear over to listen to the right shoulder. Breathe into that left side of the neck. 
With your exhale, drift the chin down through center. As you travel past center, left ear comes over to left shoulder. We'll drift down through center. Just taking these half circles to your degree. If you want to find them a little more mindfully, a little slower pace, or maybe your breath is different than mine, totally valid. We'll visit each side one more time on your own. We'll probably start it on the right. So if you've done that side, we'll just take the other side nice and easy. <coughs> Once you found those both sides, we'll come back into center. Here, tune into where the shoulders are. Invite them back and heavy. With your next inhale, lift the chin, lift the gaze, lift the shoulders up and back and down. Fantastic. All right. So nice neck love. Take a moment here, actually tune in. Like, what does it feel like between your earlobes and your shoulder heads? I feel like I'm like a quarter inch uh, more lengthy through the neck. This feels pretty nice. Also noticing some things down into my rhomboids. It's the muscles in the backs of your shoulders. So let's tune into these a little bit more as well. So we found our shoulder rolls. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna inhale, lift the right arm up towards the ceiling. Option A is bend the elbow, tap the back of your shoulder, bring your palm to the back of your elbow and lift this up for a stretch. If you can bring the elbow towards the ceiling, cool. If, you, if it doesn't go there, don't worry about it, stay here. If you bring the elbow up, we'll bring that hand on top of the elbow and draw the elbow in. Now please know that my shoulders are my shoulders. And your shoulders are your shoulders. And so wherever you might be, as long as you're feeling a nice stretch somewhere in the arm, that's all that matters, right? Take a few more big breaths here. I'm gonna get a shout out to my mom. Hi mom. And take one more breath for that right arm or whatever arm you have towards the ceiling. And then release that. Take a big circle or two one way, big circle or two the other way. Our shoulder is the most mobile joint in our body. Fun fact. Left arm comes up towards the ceiling or your other arm. Once again, we can reach back. If you notice, when I bring this hand down, it does something completely different, right? For reference, this, this, is, this is how my body works, right? These are not, I have to like make effort to make them symmetrical. So we don't have to make effort, we just do it differently. I was here, I was here, okay. So once again, you can press this arm towards the back, your back body. That could be a lot of sensation. You can also begin to guide it inward, your call. If you're like, why would I do that? Just, just don't, it's all good, right? We're gonna breathe into the back of this shoulder and arm. If you've noticed this rounding starting, we'll sit nice and tall. Making our way down the trunk of the body, breathing into the shoulders. And take one more breath there. Then releasing whatever you have, take two big circles one way. <clears throat> if you have furniture in the way, just kind of navigate the furniture or children or pets. I don't know where Wedge got off to. She's been sleepy today. It's a rainy day. <laughs> All right, once we found those big circles, we're gonna take the arms out in front of us, reach towards me, virtual hug, and then we'll plug the shoulders back in, right? So we can reach out, and we can roll the shoulders, right? That was good, right? Okay, I'll tell you, I had a little caffeine, that could be part of it. So we're taking one arm across your body, and then we're just gonna take this cross body stretch. I love you all. With this cross body stretch for your shoulders. Also, I know that we started a little bit late, so if you all have something to do at one, totally valid. But just make sure you do the second side of something before you skitter off, or do the second side as you move into the rest of your day. Um, I'll hang out until about 1.15 to finish um, what we had planned. Okay, if you wanna add on more sensation, you can take your gaze away from your hands. Ooh, and then just notice what shows up in the neck. If it's too much, just bring the gaze back. Just like that. <coughs> Pardon. Take one more breath here in the back of that shoulder you have sort of guided towards you, pinned almost. We'll inhale, reach out, let's take a circle. A couple circles. So this is seated thread the needle, 
right? And all these things, what's cool, you can do this in the chair, you can do this um, on the floor. If you're a passenger in a vehicle, um, you, can, you can do that there. Okay, so we're going to be opposite arm across. It doesn't have to go in the same distance or the same direction. It's all good. And um, don't like pull on your elbow, like be kind to your joint. You can grab your bicep or your forearm. I like my bicep so I can just sort of guide the arm across. And wherever this hand goes, bonus. Okay. Once again, if you want to create a little neck sensation, take the gaze away from the hands. Kind of see how that feels. Notice where the spine might be. If you have slouch asana, it's supernatural. It's all just what our bodies do sometimes. Because chairs. Oh, chairs. All right, take one more breath here for this side. And releasing, taking a bit of movement. Fantastic. So take the arms behind you. You might interlace fingers. You might just reach back. If you happen to have a scarf or, um, ta -da, I always have a scarf with me. It um, can be very helpful. You can hold on to something behind your back if that makes life easier. Or you can interlace fingers, roll the shoulders back, peel the shoulders back, maybe lift the gaze if that feels good. Feel the front body open, create space across the shoulder blades. Across the collarbones, I mean, those are collarbones. The shoulder blades are in the back, bringing those together. You can stay here with this lift or begin to come forward. Optional, like super optional. Hands can stay by your low back or peel away. Let's kind of see where the sensation shows up for you. Make sure you're still breathing. When you're inhale, we'll come all the way back up to the top, releasing, shaking the arms out. Nice. Cool. All right. <clears throat> so moving down through the trunk of the body. Again, we have the six movements we can find. And those are the flexion and extension, the twist left and right, and then the lateral. Okay. So what we're going to do is bring hands to knees or thighs or wherever. And we're going to repeat that big yes and no, but we're going to begin to layer on the whole spine. So we're going to inhale, look up towards the ceiling. And exhale, look down towards the floor. You may notice that movement already starts because where the eyes go, the spine follows. Inhale, lift the gaze, lift the heart, peel the shoulders back. And exhale, round. And then you can elaborate on it to your degree. Opening the front body, peel the shoulders back as you breathe in, shine the heart forward. Your exhale, round the spine, seated cow and cat. Take one more pair as you breathe in. And breathe out. And with your inhale, come back to neutral. Inhaling shoulders up, back and down. Fantastic. Here, we're having our arms out by our side, shifting anything off to the side that you might need to shift. Palms come towards the ceiling. We'll inhale, sweep the arms up, lengthen through. Lift the gaze if that feels good. To your degree, heart turns towards your right. One arm forward, one arm back. A little seated twist. Your inhale, sweep arms up, lift heart, lift gaze. Exhale, open to the other side. The inhale, sweep arms up, lift heart, lift gaze. Begin to follow your breath. Your breath in as we reach up. With your exhale, drift to your left. The inhale, find your way up. And you are ready, come over to the right, bring one hand to your knee, one hand behind you, sit tall to breathe in. And just explore turning towards your right. It does not have to be elaborate. It just needs to be intentional, sitting tall as you breathe in. Inviting depth as you breathe out. Releasing fingertips, finding the inhale to sweep all the way back up, lengthen through. 
Come to the other side, one hand at the knee, one hand behind you. Sit tall and just see what happens as you gaze towards your left shoulder. Chin drifts towards your left shoulder. Releasing fingertips here as we inhale, sweep the arms up, lift heart, lift gaze. Here, right hand will come down by the side, left arm arcs up and over, left hip stays grounded as you reach from waistband all the way up through <coughs> your left fingertips. <coughs> Breathe through that left rib cage. With the inhale, we'll drift all the way back up to the top, taking that second side as we drift down. Lengthen through the right rib cage and take a lean to the side. If the shoulder and the ear are best friends, just break up the party. Breathing through that right rib cage, just creating space and softening with the exhale. And with your next inhale, we'll drift all the way back up to the top. Palms come together. You can't see my hands, so I'll bring them down here for a second. Turn your palms away from each other, so backs of hands are together. All right? With our arms length, palms away from each other, take a breath in. Press the palms down and away. Palms flip towards the ceiling. Inhale, sweep up. Your exhale, press away. Here, begin to visualize as you inhale, sweeping up, bringing the things around you that serve you. With your exhale, as you press away, releasing the things that just don't. With your inhale, bringing around you friends, family, sunshine, it's out there somewhere. Pressing away stress, anxiousness, social media in ways that are challenging to us. One more round, we inhale, gather up rainbows, ponies, dark chocolate, whatever. And we'll press away TV, the news, only little bits, right? Creating space around us. One more feels good to me. If it does for you, do that too. Allow ourselves to focus on the things that we have, things that support us, the things that serve us. We have found the movements of the spine. It feels pretty good. How does it feel? I feel kind of like spacious a little bit. Like in my mid back, I feel spacious. It's nice. How the shoulders feel? How the neck feels? The good news is this is being recorded. So you can always come back and revisit these movements, even just chunks of them if they feel good to you. And some of this stuff is also on my podcast, Peace in the Pause. It's all auditory, but since you've now had this visual and physical, you could take the option to listen to the podcast and take some of this movement as well. What we're going to do here as we wrap up our time together is I'm going to do a little bit of a guided meditation for um, a mantra meditation. Get a little closer while we do this. And as we find this mantra meditation, um, that I'll guide to start, and then I'll give you some space to linger with that meditation, okay? Um, if at any point you need to go do whatever it is you need to do, I wish you well. I wish you well anyway, but spending time for a little bit longer, taking care of yourself, whatever suits you best, okay? And so if you need to rearrange your seat, feel for Oh, good. Susan says, fabulous. I know, I feel all sassy now with my shoulders all smooth. Okay. All right. So settling into a seat to finish up our breathe, our move, and now our be. Let's be here together. The eyes be soft or the eyes be closed. With a smooth breath in. 
and an even breath out. And follow your breath in and out. On the inhale, I am here. As you inhale, breathe in, I am here. Inhale, I am here. As you find your next exhale, exhale, this is now. Exhale, this is now. This is now. Use these words if they serve you. Listen to your breath if that suits you better. As you breathe in, feel the air move in, perhaps layer on. I am here. As you breathe out, this is now. Inhale, I am here. Exhale, this is now. Continue on your own. As we hold space. For breath and mantra. This practice to guide us back to the present moment. If and when the mind wanders, I am here. This is now. Invite another breath in. 
and empty that out. Here and now. And you gently blink your eyes open and find your way back to the space. Thank you. Thank you for taking time for yourself. Thank you for joining me for midday movement. If you have any questions, let me know. All right. I'll be leading Sunrise Yoga, hosted by Inner Power Yoga, and that's through their website. That's tomorrow morning at 6.30. And then I'll be here on Facebook Live at 8 a.m. for our morning meditation. Um, that'll be Thursday and Friday. If there's anything specific that you'd like to explore or do, let me know. All right. I appreciate your time. Have a wonderful rest of your afternoon. Say bye, Wedge. No. No? Okay. Mohammed, I'm glad. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed it. All right, friends. Wedge is going to sign off, too. She's being a diva. Diva. Oh, thank you. My friends, be well. And until our paths cross again, namaste. <laughs>